morning, everyone. In the morning, ma'am. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm not able to charge my laptop. Just give me a guess. It's getting charged. Finally. Sorry for the delay. Okay. Still, quickly, it's already 11. Five and I don't want to invest in any more time. We are about to start with our revisions. Quickly turn on your cameras and tell me what chapter you want me to re revise. Uh, what chapter did we revise last time? Uh, I think so it was electrical conductors and insulative electricity. Right? Ma'am, can we do now? Okay. Uh, did we revise food chain? No, ma'am. Food chain Sorry. Oh, ma'am, we haven't revised. Okay, we haven't revised food chain. Okay, now we have two chapters basically that we should revise. The choice is yours. It could be either food chain or caring for environment. What chapter you want me to revise? Quick? Food chain. Food chain. Okay. What about other? Um, ma'am, uh, this caring for the environment we just did. Because caring for the environment, we just did, right? We just did. That's uh, yeah. uh, I think so. I have revised it with you. You know, we read those answers about the desert. Uh, didn't I do it with you? Food chain, I think, then I did with right. Are you sure we haven't revised food chain? No, no. Okay, sure. Not a problem. Just give me a moment quickly. And Umar said, uh, acid rains, okay, Mom. Umar will be definitely discussing that part also because, yes, food chain is important from your exam point of view also. You will definitely get answers on greenhouse effect, acid rains, littering, pollution. There are so many things to it. So you are definitely going to get some of the answers from it also. I don't know why this is happening. Just give me a moment, like, you know, my charge, it's not getting charged, starting and ending. Just give me a moment and then we'll continue. Just a moment, da, da. Okay, so it's getting charged. Okay. Okay, did you all start studying? I yes, sir. Yes, turn on your cameras. Why are the cameras off, Pita? Turn on your cameras. Um, I've done two chapters of science. Wow, you've revised all the four chapters, Pita? Yeah, four channel electric. I've revised all the chapters. Very good. Uh, do you have any doubts pertaining to, pertaining to any chapter that we did? Any doubt, any queries, any answers that you could not get? Or you Ma in mass and wit, I did, like, I did not understand. What did you not understand, Vita? In mass and wit. Okay. Uh, like any specific topic or the entire chapter? The entire chapter. Entire chapter, okay. So we'll just try to cover it up. If like, ma'am, what, what will come? I don't know. Uh, about uh, you know, about mass and weight, it's only up to page number 120. Next thing is, like, I've given notes. So, for that chapter, only if you refer notes, it's more than more than enough because there are no, <coughs> excuse me, there are no more, more pages to it. So, just simply, there are three questions that I've written in the notes. Even if you learn those notes and just read the textbook once. You'll be done for that chapter. Okay? Ma'am, can you give us some practice sums? Practice uh, as in like a, a you know, kind of questions? What practice uh, like you want me exactly to give? No, no. Please tell me. It's okay. I'm here to solve your problems only. What, like, you want me to give you some question, your random questions, or you know, what you want me to do? Yes, ma'am. So I can revise some. Okay, so that you could revise. So you want me to give you some, you know, uh, random questions so that you can just revise. Okay, you, uh, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, you want me to do it right now, or the random question, or you want me to post it on the Google Classroom? You can do whatever you want. You can post it on Google Classroom, or you can do it right now. Okay, perfect. So what we'll do, we'll just kind of revise it over here, and I'll just prepare a question, you know, a list of questions, and then I'll send it on Google Classroom so that you could just revise it. One more thing I was I'm constantly telling, see, whatever notes I've given for all the chapters would be adequate for you to answer the questions in brief and the shorts. But then you need to go to your test book so that you could solve fill in the blanks, true or false, define. These are the smaller things that you need to do it from the test book. So do not skip your test book. My notes will be uh, helpful, but only in case of brief answers. Okay, starting with food chain. Does anybody know what is a food chain? A well-framed answer for a food chain? Food chain shows us the feeding relationship. Very good. The feeding relationship between the different animals in a habitat is called feeding as a... Relationship. Perfect. And so a food chain. Okay. What is a food web? Ma'am, it shows multiple of feed, feeding relationships in our... Multiple feeding relationship, perfect. Or you can say interconnection of different animals in a an habitat through food chain is called as a food web. How different animals are connected to each other or they are dependent on each other for their survival, for the food. It is called as food web. Okay. What is a predator? Hello, quickly tell me what is a predator? A predator, a predator, predator is an animal that, ma'am, a predator, a predator is an animal that hunts for, that hunts other animals for food. Lovely. The animals that hunt other animals for their food is, are called as predators. So what are prey? Ma'am, the, ma the animals that, that get hunted, hunted from predators. And from the predators. Lovely, lovely. Chalo. At least I'm happy that you've gone through the things. You know some of the concepts very well, very clear and well-framed answers also. Lovely. Very good. Okay. Then we have producers. What are producers? Plants. Producers are... are um, Ma'am, producers are animals that make their own food or things. Okay. Would say all, all the I'm organisms... Good. Okay. Or the plants, yeah. um, or the, 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 the animals, yeah, yeah. they don't... There is no particular food. word for it. Yes, definitely. But uh, I would say that the, the plants that prepare their own food or synthesize their own food are called as producers. So what are consumers then? Um, um, consumers are they, animals the animals that, that consume food. food. That the food. animals that con uh, depend on other animals for their food. Very good. Very clear. Very precise. Perfect. Okay. Uh, then what do I want to ask you is, okay, where does the food chain start from? Plant. From the, the producers. Plant producers. Producers. Perfect. Perfect. So can I imagine my food chain without a plant? Is that possible? No. no yes, no. it is. It is possible. There is yeah. algae. Algae, yeah, definitely. If not plants, if we look at the aquatic uh, habitat, what happens? There are no plants. The then, there, the, the primary uh, producers are the algae. Perfect. Uh, if I ask you in your examination, draw me, uh, sorry, draw a food chain that consists of a producer, primary consumer, tertiary, and a quaternary. Okay, quickly, you can you can just write the names. I don't expect you to draw a vulture or an eagle. You just write a name. And uh, tell uh, tell me just. I'm in the exam. If you ask that we have to uh, uh, draw food chain, so instead of the animals, we can write the names, right? Yes, yes, you can definitely write the names. Like I don't expect you to draw draw a vulture. Even I don't know how to draw a vulture. That's absolutely fine. I'm very good at drawing. Have the screen quickly draw draw food chain. Hey, this is my draw. Please, nobody come here. Everybody keeps taking each other's draw. I don't know why. Learn to primary consumer.
secondary consumer ha uh-huh. um i like your drawings captain captain the spelling the sahi kar do ma'am i don't know why i always write the wrong spelling i wrote it wrong myself though but i don't know sometimes i get the wrong spelling i wrote it myself wrong and the rest of the camera is off sad you're not answering now what has happened to sad suddenly is become quiet ma'am i have a mind sorry beta i have made mine yes i can see i can see yes grass and say for then or fox okay primary secondary oh, no. okay producers oh. okay done i am see how all right i forgot the quaternary you just imagine you know i am uploading this lecture and you know in that uh, thumbnail if this gets selected okay oh, so i only have questions in mind that what is this Ma'am, I don't know. This is the correct shape of an eagle. Okay, but <laughs> you know, it looks like my daughter is making some drawings. Ma'am, I'm on the computer. Give yes, some. Yes, I completely understand. The mouse is so hard to control. My drawing is really good, though. Shan is requesting yes, remote control of your screen. Why, Shan? You want to do something? Ma'am, I'm it by mistakely. I was pressing annotate. It was to request remote control. Yes, everything is by mistakely these days. Okay. A uh, plant, the grasshopper, yes. and the frog. Okay. Grass insect. Ma'am, done. Ma'am, I made my food chain. Plant, yes. insect, bird, snake. and eagle eagle wow and you know this is the most 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 loveliest picture of a food chain that can you put one in the screen seen on the you know ma'am the eagle party. looks like a chicken <laughs> it looks like a chicken definitely this bird doesn't chicken. look like a bird did it seem hamza is in mood of having some chicken okay chal uh correct uh, very good aisha aisha hamza everyone who's done it very good i'm happy to see that your in spite this being the first chapter your you know all the concepts are very clear all very of the clear. guys are angry ah oh bus 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 chalo okay what is a feeding relationship a feeding relationship show us what each other animal sorry what each animal each this can be plants or the other animals also that is how different animals are dependent on each other see we saw plants then we have insects lizards and then comes the snake the primary secondary tertiary and quaternary okay no quaternary so, ma'am there is no quaternary yes there is quaternary I'm see this. There's a food chain down here. Okay. Anybody who has Google Classroom on your uh, laptop or the mobile I phone, where you can share me. I have. Ma'am, 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 ma'
No, ma'am. Who has yeah. entered the classroom and you can share that answer about uh, the anybody? And I have <laughs> name, please. Name, name, ma'am. Okay. Like now. <laughs> You can share your okay. screen. Okay. How do camels basically survive? Till she shares, we'll just have a quick discussion. How do animals, uh, sorry, how do camels survive in desert? Ma'am, they yeah, store water in this tank. Ma'am, they store water in this tank. There is no water there. That is fats. Or in they can store fats in their home. Yes. And and um the feet are well, like, uh, and the feet are safe in a way uh, they can easily walk on the sand. Walk on the sand. Oh, yes, what about the eyelids? What about the eyelashes? Yeah, the eyelids are long so that the uh, so that the sand won't go inside their eyes. Yes, they have you know, bushy or I would say very thick or dense. Very long with the one. Eyelashes so that they no, can okay, prevent when the winds will blow, it will not enter into their eyes. So they have, they have, oh. they have those thick eyelashes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about the hump? Yes, they store fats in their hump, and when they get you, when they utilize it up, what happens? The hump will become small. Okay. Uh, can they live without water for several days? Camels. Ma'am, your oh. train has flagged and uh, your voice has been breaking. My voice is. Ma'am, what is this? Ma'am, I'm clicking the clear button. Ma'am, I'm okay, clicking the clear uh, button, but it's coming more. No, I I knew it. Hamza has did it. Hamza has did it. Okay, I swear. Because you know, I have yeah. this 20 minutes yeah. last lecture. I will not be able to. Revise with you all again. Please, anybody? There was somebody from yes. the girls who told that she is going to share the screen. Who told it, Vita? Hafsa. Hafsa. Oh. Hafsa. Hafsa. Hafsa, you're sharing it, Vita? No, no, no. no. Hafsa is Aray, ma'am, why does everybody call me only? Okay, so anybody, you can just open your mobile. Is it possible? Uh, just open the mobile and read it for me. Is it is that possible? Ma'am, read what? The notes that I have given are in your food chain uh, thing uh, regarding to camel. How yeah. does the camel adapt himself in the desert? I have that. Can you please read it? Read it for us. Aisha, can you please read it for us, Pita? Camel, they will yeah. tell us where it is hot and dry. Camel. The camel one, right? Yes. The one that I've given you yeah. in the notes for food chain. <coughs> There's a screenshot. Camels, camel. Oh, hot and dry. Camels have adapted and found ways to help them survive in desert. They have a thick coat of hair that protects them from the heat in the day and keeps them warm at night. Their large feet spread their weight on the sand when they are walking. When there is food and water, a camel can eat and drink large amounts of it and store it as fat in the hump. Then, when there is no food or water, the camel uses the fat for energy, and the hump becomes uh -huh. small and soft. A camel's waist contains very little water. Even the water from the camel's breath flows back into its mouth. The camels have bushy eyebrows that don't let the sand go in their eyes in a sandstorm. It has a long, slender neck in order to reach high leaves such as palm trees, and rubbery patches on the belly and knees to protect the skin when kneeling and sitting on the hot sand. These form after five years of age. A camel has a naturally adapted temperature regulation. It can change its bodily temperature 
56 degrees Celsius either way. It has two sets of eyelashes, closing muscles in the nasal passages, hairy ears and tough leathery skin to protect the camel's skin in sandstorm. It has thick rubbery lips to eat dry prickly plants and large and a large hair tail to spot pests such as mosquitoes and flies. Perfect. So here we yeah. have all the points like how a camel has been made so that it can adapt to that particular habitat. What are the important points that you read, Aisha? Like if I tell you to write this answer in four to five points, how will you describe answer. it? Uh, yes. Sorry. Why is this breaking? What did you say, Bita? Ma'am, your voice is breaking. My voice is breaking a bit better than because of the network, it will get better. Okay, so Aisha, how would you, like if I asked you to write an answer on this, how would you describe it? Tell quickly. In four to five points. Camels have um, many characters. You can read it from yes. your phone, also. that's absolutely perfect. And a few Construct your own food drain using words and pictures. There we go again. I'm waiting for the answer. Anybody else or Aisha or anybody else who could give me three, four points? She just read the entire thing. So three, four points that you would like to highlight about how a camel has been designed so that he could stay in a desert area. Bavaria. And the question I see here is, do you think that you can be in food chain? I don't get you. What did you say? The only question I see here is, do you think that you can be in food chain? Think about what you eat. Where does it come from? Okay. Okay. Uh, are you okay? Uh, like you're talking about this question? So then the one that has a text form. The one that has. Okay, listen. This one. Wait, wait a second. Why there's so much of con uh, confusion on this answer? Chalo, quickly we just discuss. I don't want to put in more time on this. First, about the eyelashes. How are the eyelashes? They are long, they are thick, so that when the wind blows, it does not enter into but the she... eyes. What about the ears? Again, they have those thick ears, so that when there is a uh, you know, sandstorm, the wind will not, the other sand basically will not enter into the ears. What about yes. the nostrils? The nostrils are designed in such a way that so that they can close those nostrils. So when the wind blows, it will not enter into their nose. The neck, the neck is a long slender neck so that it could reach it high up to, on the leaves that are there on the trees. Okay, the, so that they can eat those leaves properly. Uh, rest, what is there? You all know. And they uh, have a thick tail so that they can fly away mosquitoes. Perfect. And then the hump where they store the food and the water, they, they store it so that when there is no water, there is no food, so they can use them when there is no other resource available. Again, what is the thing? Uh, they require minimum, uh, like uh, minimum water has been required by them and they can even, like when, uh, even when they urinate, the amount of water that comes out of them is very less because desert areas, they do not get water on a very large scale. Secondly, they have those long legs so that their legs or the feet are not does not get entirely immersed into the sand. Or else, you know, if we would walk in such areas, we would you know, entirely go immersed into, into it. But we all can see they have those long, long, long legs so that they can walk easily on the desert. So these are some of the points that are the answer is beautiful answer has been given. It covers so many things. Just read, understand, and then try and make it into your own answer. Okay? Oh.
मैम लुक देयर इज अ स्टिक मैम सिटिंग ऑन द बेबी कैमल ओके चलो देन हियर इज अ फूड वेब वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट अ फूड चेन फूड वेब uh okay again photosynthesis what is photosynthesis tell us quickly 10 minutes and i want to complete this chapter what is photosynthesis the process in which uh, plants make their own food lovely what the what are the things sunlight. that they require ma'am soil and sunlight definitely chalo there is a small print the blanks which i would like to do with you is a healthy plant has dash leaves green leaves green leaves but an unhealthy plant has um the weird color leaves discolored green leaves yeah discolored green the healthy plant has dash upright so leaves are healthy plant green has leaves but the healthy plant has brown Shut leaves ma'am brown leaves brown okay discolored green leaves uh, the, no your no, there's no brown leaves option color of it discolored green leaves uh can you just uh, correct this discolored green leaves Ma'am, now I understand. It's not brown leaves. It's discolored green leaves. Who is doing this? Why are you writing wrong answers in the in the blanks? <laughs> not the chlorophyll. It has a green. It has a green leaves. They but the and and healthy plant has the brown one. Green leaves. The dry leaves. Dry leaves. You can add the dry leaves also. Ma'am, or you can also write D D G L. A healthy plant has upright leaves. D C L, discolored, not D G. Yes, and upright leaves. And G stands for green. And a discolored green leaves. D C G L. What are that? Okay. <laughs> you don't know. Leaves. Okay, the healthy plant has um, green leaves. New <laughs> leaves growing. Yes, lovely. But an unhealthy plant has no no new leaves. No new leaves. Okay, so there there could be a picture study also. I I give this picture and I give you fill in the blanks and you just have to go through it and. right the answer so this type of questions can also come in your exams okay chal ma'am is it going to be as easy as ma'am with the word bank yes with the word bank also because then the answering the thing becomes very random now okay um okay uh, the food pyramid decreases as it goes from down to up true or false the pyramid decreases as it goes no, upward true or false false, false. just like false. how i hate it can you see a food pyramid over here is it decreasing as it moves upward food pyramid true or false chalo quickly the answer is true what true food pyramid decreases as it moves upwards true true okay but if i uh, give you a, a statement in your exam where it is written a food pyramid increases as it moves upwards so what is the answer false false and then i told you this time you have true or false with reason so how would you correct the statement um no ma'am not reason true or false sorry it's so tricky ma'am not reason wala true and false you no, don't have to that is not an option now no, you have to type the reason also ma'am what bye. is the reason what will you say you will say false the food pyramid decreases as it moves upwards I just learned about the food 
Then what next do we have? Photosynthesis. Please see to it that you learn the entire thing. See, you have the answer over here. Filling the blanks. Filling the blanks. Okay. The sun provides energy for green plants to produce food. Green plants are called as? What are the green plants called? Radicals. Lovely. Because they have the ability to make their own food. When green plants make food using energy from the sun, it is called as? Photosynthesis. Lovely. We can represent energy flowing using pyramids of dash. Uh, pyramids of numbers. Numbers. Because the pyramid of numbers tells us exactly how much each animal eats at each level. We can get clues from a pyramid of numbers about how much energy an animal needs to needs to how much energy the animal needs to Live. 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 Go through the process of photosynthesis. See the entire thing. The page number 63. Let's write it somewhere that this page is important. You might get answer on photosynthesis also. Predators and prey, we have now everybody us. has to do it. Sorry? Um, I think the full chain will be okay. as easy as drawing an imperfect circle. Listen. Quickly. Again, what is this? This is a food chain. Marine food chain. Ma'am, it's a marine food chain. Javaria, you are on mute. Listen, everybody. This is a marine food chain. I want you all to study this. What is it? Your the food chain starts with that. Algae. Yes. But you can get this answer Mama, true or false. A marine food true. chain starts with plants. True or false? True. No, it's wrong. False. And what is the correct statement? Wrong. Game. It starts wrong. with algae. What are you telling Omar? True. Okay. If the sentence is true, you did not correct it. But if the statement is false, you need to correct it. Okay. Oh, okay. What are the uh, what, which animal is a primary consumer? Which animal is a secondary consumer? Which animal is a tertiary consumer? And which animal is a quaternary consumer? You can just quickly see it over here and just tell accordingly. Ma'am. Okay? Yes. Ma'am. Shrimp is uh, shrimp is primary. Ma'am. The algae is primary and polar bear is quaternary. Sorry, beta. Ma'am, uh, shrimp is uh, what is it? Shrimp is primary, cod is secondary, seal is uh, tertiary, and polar bear is uh, quaternary. Oh, lovely. Okay, match the following consumers an animal or insect that cannot produce their own food. What are predators? Quickly, chalo. What are quiet? What are predators? Ma'am, predators, predators, predators are are the animal that uh, looks for the prey. Very good. Cool. Producers are that that uh, make their own food using the energy from sun. Okay, we all almost uh, revise this chapter. One more thing that I want to uh, tell. Ma'am, you. you said it's a rock. Sorry. Ma'am, you said producers. Uh, Ma'am, you said predators are the one who can make their own food using sunlight. No, no, no. Sorry, I would have I would have told that by mistake. No, that is not for predators. That is for the producers that prepare their own food. Producers. Okay. I will send you a list of questions. Food chain, Omar wanted to revise. I will, no, uh, acid rain. I will give you answer about that also. Any other doubts, you have my number. Please learn, read, revise. Any doubts? Message me. Okay? You don't understand any answer or you want to frame that particular answer, you can always ask me. Okay? Chalo. Ending my lecture. Start studying. Tomorrow is in holiday. But then we have three days for this weekend and we all will be studying. Okay? Chalo. Bye. Have a great day ahead. Bye.